welcome back to Aussie Scrapper. Today's project is a card that I made for my girlfriend and I will apologise in advance. I didn't take any photos of this project as I was in a hurry to get this card in the mail. I started off by just cutting a piece of cardstock in 6 by 6 inches and made it into a square. I must admit I'm not really a card maker but I've decided that this year I want to get through a lot of my stash and I want to use up all my little bits and pieces from leftover ephemera and leftover whatever so they go into this little box here that I have there so I want to use them all up on my cards I just thought that was if I made cards it was a good way of using up these bits and pieces that have been, been sitting in my stash for quite a while and that is why you see those chipboard corners on the card. They have been in my stash for a number of years and I've never had the right layout to use them for or I've tried using them on different things and it's just never worked out. So I just thought, you know what, Sylvia, get them out of your stash onto this card and it's done with. I also keep a box of... Um, die cuts that I've, used, that I've cut out from my silhouette machine and um, sometimes I cut out more than I need or I might cut something out from the silhouette machine and I never use it so I just thought you know what get some of those onto this card as well and I am utilizing all my bits and pieces. This piece of mesh has been floating around my desk for quite a while now so I just thought I'd Cut a piece off and use it for some texture on this card. So all you see me doing is cutting it into little bits and pieces and then I just glue it down and I get a bit of in, a bit more interest onto this card. Once everything is glued down I will be adding a coat of gesso. I did dry the gesso with my heat gun and then I'm going to be using some new ants I think that's how you pronounce it. The first colour I'm using is called Aquamarine and I'm just sprinkling it on top of the card and then I will be activating it with some water. This might sound silly but I really enjoy watching the patterns that form as the colour is dripping down, down my project. For some reason it just brings a lot of pleasure to me. I will then be blotting some of the colour out by just using a paper towel. The colour that I'm sprinkling there is called purple. I'm mainly going to be using that colour purple on the corner chipboards that I added there just to darken them a bit more and add a bit more interest to the card I guess is what I'm trying to say. I will then be using my paper towel to blot up some, to pick up some of that colour and then just give it a quick dry with the heat gun. The next colour I will be using is called Wisteria and I'm just going to mainly do the same thing all over again but this time I am sprinkling the colour onto the flowers. I will just be activating the colours using my a wet paintbrush and I don't believe I show you the whole process because this did did take me quite a while but all I did was I slowly built up the colour and what I mean by that is I would do one layer move on to the other flower if I thought that I wanted it a bit darker I would dry in between layers and then come back and I would add another layer of this same colour and I did this various times until I got the depth of colour that I liked The next product I'm using is at the moment my most favourite product and it's Australian, yay! So what it is, it's the Colour Blast Shimmer Cubes. I absolutely love the shimmer that this product adds to my projects. Unfortunately, the camera, or I use a webcam to film, is not picking up the shimmer from these lovely little products and like I said earlier I have not taken any close-up photos so you will have to take my word for it. So if you are in Australia I would 
strongly recommend that you go to the Color Blast website, which I will link below, and go and check out what they have and support the Australian scrapbooking craft industry. All I did with this product is basically just paint over my flowers to add some shimmer to it. And I haven't shown you the whole process in the interest of keeping this video short and it can get rather boring. You want just watching me colour in really. I will soon start painting my leaves and I'm using my Nuance product again and the colour I'm using is called Bright Green. And all I'm basically doing is just uh, painting my leaves. Nothing exciting, nothing hard. Pretty boring stuff, isn't it? So uh, that's why I've sped it up and cut to the end process because really, who wants to watch someone paint a leaf? Ugh. I decided I wanted more separation and definition between my flowers and the background. So all I'm doing is I'm just going back in with the aquamarine in that nuance product and everywhere I've added that lovely little mesh material I'm just highlighting it a little bit more and adding some more depth with that aquamarine colour and it just makes everything pop a bit more and cause a bit more definition between the background and the flowers. I'm now just adding a bit more definition to the inside of the flower. They're not the petals, what's that called? The the pollen? The oh my gosh. Mental blame. Anyway, you know what it's called, you know what I'm doing. Let's just move on. And this is what the card base is looking like so far. I did go into my stash trying to see what else I could use on this card and I found these 3D decoupage stickers which I've got no idea where they came from. They might have been a gift from someone, I'm really not sure. And I quite like how the purples tie in with this background. So I do fuss around with these flowers for a while and trying to work out how I'm going to use them. They had came with some bling but I took the bling off, I didn't really want it to dare. Yeah, and in, in the end, I quite like how it sort of all comes together. I wanted to use a butterfly on this card, but I had none in my stash. So I went to my silhouette machine and I cut one out. I'm just using the Ranger's Perfect Pearls. And it's basically the same like in embossing. You, I use their their version of Versamark. I forget what it's called. It's an embossing medium that they call it something like that and then I just brush on the the powder and it adds this lovely shimmer oh, dusty effect it's really hard to explain but I absolutely love it so at the moment I am using forever blue then I go in with some forever purple and I believe I also use a greeny color in forever green for those little intricate areas of the butterfly you see me using what looks like a pen that is actually a Versamark pen and it's just um, I just find that easier to use on intricate areas instead of just trying to use the Versamark pad or the little embossing pad that Ranger use uh, this just gives me more control of exactly where I want to add that embossing liquid I'm now going to be using some uh, Starlight's metallic paint in black for the body of the butterfly and then for some reason I decide oh I've got the Starlight's metallic in blue and I decide to color the whole butterfly in blue after all that work that I did with the perfect pearls and to be quite honest I was quite I, I'm I like the end product a lot more and I think because it had the perfect pearls behind it as the first layer, it just gave it, it just looked so much nicer for some reason. Um, so it was a happy mistake or a happy coincidence, but I did colour the whole butterfly in this metallic colour blue. I also add some pearl dots to my butterfly and the body of the butterfly, I then decide, oh, I've got these little black gem dots, I'm not really sure what they're called, but I add them one by one to the body of it and it just brings everything together and it just gives 
the butterfly, a touch of elegance. I was really happy with this butterfly. Look at that. I just love this butterfly. I'm now just gluing my butterfly down. I will be adding some foam dots to the wings of the, the butterfly just so that it's not flat on the page, if that makes any sense. I'm just adding some purple micro beads with a bit of um, glossy accents as the glue just to add a bit more texture to the to the card and, and just add it a little bit more elegance because that butterfly just made everything look so elegant. I really love how this card in the end turned out. I just used this Royalty Shiba Cube just to add a border to the whole card and sorry I didn't film that but yeah, it was just a border all around. So I'll take this opportunity to thank you all. I hope you're all well. Stay safe. Until my next project. Bye.